right, tomorrow morning you can get a, in a good walk and also help out a great cause. We are so honored to have former Kansas City Chief Eddie Kennison on the show. He is also the honorary walk chair for the Walk to Cure Lupus. Welcome to the show, well, Eddie. Thank you for having me. You, Michelle, and M Squared. And thank M Squared. That's right. Yes. Thank you guys for we, having we, me. We, on. we love having you on. Okay, so talk about why you're involved in the fight mm -hmm. against lupus. Well, uh, it's very simple. My wife was diagnosed in 2003, and, mm -hmm. and like many uh, Americans who are, are, are finding out about what lupus is, mm -hmm. we didn't know anything about it. So our quest began in 2003 to find out what lupus is, how it affects the body, how many people it's affecting in the world, mm -hmm. and how we can make a difference in trying to find a cure for the disease. So you know personally how important it is no. to find a cure for this disease. Yes. Uh, there's treatment, but there's no cure. Uh, correct, and that's that's our fight right now. Uh, you know, there are a lot of doctors and scientists and researchers that are out there that are doing a lot of great things to try to find a cure. Uh, and, you know, there are medications out there to help control what, the, what lupus is doing. But our quest is to find a cure so we can free these people of this disease. Okay, so tell us about the Alliance for Lupus Research. Uh, Woody Johnson is the founder. Mm -hmm. Woody Johnson is the owner of the New York Jets. Mm -hmm. And uh, Woody uh, founded uh, Alliance for Lupus Research. And between Quick Start, the Eddie Kennison Foundation, and ALR, we kind of merged together. We partnered together to continue this fight and this quest to find a cure for lupus research. Does your wife appreciate your efforts? <laughs> I think she does. And uh, as much as, uh, and she's my hero, by the way. Uh, every every morning she wakes up and she goes to work. You know, I kick her out of bed to make, her, <laughs> make sure she goes to work. And uh, She's watching at home, and, uh, you know. That's right, and I'm going to get it. But but she gets up, you know, with no, uh, with no complaints or anything in the morning, and she goes to work and she fights this thing uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, and I love her uh, every second for it. Oh, that warms I heard. Okay, so can people out there sign up for the walk? They can. They can go to uh, lupuswalkkc.org. Uh, you can uh, join my team or you can uh, form your own team. And uh, the walk is this Saturday, November 3rd, out at Kaufman Stadium. Again, they can go to lupuswalkkc.org. And hopefully the forecast is fantastic. Oh, the, for <laughs> the forecast will be great, be yeah. terrific. So uh, me and George, we've already discussed that. Everything will be great. Okay, so I have to talk about the Chiefs. You're a <laughs> former Chief. Have you been watching? I have Are you been attending watching. the games? Uh, I have not been out to any games yet this year, just because mm -hmm. a lot of things are going life, on. Life, kids, uh, life, family. kids, vacation. Vacation. Uh, so, but uh, every chance I get, I watch them on television, and uh, you know, I feel for the guys that are on the field. Mm -hmm. uh, I know what they're going through. I know what the locker room is like uh, during this this time. I was part of a team, not the Chiefs, that uh, we went two and fourteen one year, mm -hmm. uh, and it was not. A pleasurable season. So I know what those guys are going through and I feel for them. Uh, we all know, as fans, as former players, that needs to be changed. We all see it. Uh, I think the organization, the owners, they know it. Uh, the change is what is it? We all want these miraculous things to happen, but I'm sure that, that Clark is sitting along with his partner saying, okay, what do we need to do to make this better? And I'm sure they're sitting uh, in their office or at home thinking about what that next step will be. And you are officially a chief because you retired as a chief. You came back and retired as a chief. So yes. you will always be a chief. I will always be a chief. It, it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, there's there's a lot of purple and gold because I am an LSU mm -hmm. guy, and there's chief's red blood that comes out uh, when I get cut. So I'm a chief uh, for life. So what, what, what do you think the, the, the cure to get chiefs <laughs> back uh, in the win category, get some wins on the board. Well, there's uh, well, one, somebody has to stand up in a locker room, whether it's one or 53 guys, mm -hmm. to stand up and be leaders. Uh, somebody has to stand up and, and say something and, and, and make the locker room uh, and demand the respect in the locker room. Mm -hmm. uh, who that guy is, we don't know. Is it, is it Clark Hunt? Is it Scott? Is it, is it Romeo? Is it Matt Castle? Who is it? Mm -hmm. Somebody stand up take that big time leadership role and say this is the way it's going to be guys we have to start winning and we have to start winning now make it happen but make right now happen. you're standing up against lupus <laughs> right. for the walk tomorrow that's right eddie yeah. thank you for coming on the show we appreciate it thank you guys it. for having me